Welcome to Nextstar TV, a free resource that uses video tutorials to explain IT topics. My name is Emily, and today's video is Microsoft Word 2010 User Guide Lesson 33 View. This is the final video in our Microsoft Word 2010 User Guide series, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to use various features in the View tab. Okay, so this lesson is going to focus on the View tab. And the thing to keep in mind about the View tab is that Word has a lot of different viewing options to help you view your document optimally. So the first thing we're going to cover is this section called document views. The first view is print layout. Print layout shows most of the document's features as they'll print. It'll show you headers, footers, graphics, and columns. And something nice about it is that you can see your entire page and you can see all the way to your edges, which will allow you to check out your margin. But one thing that you want to keep in mind is that if you want to get a fully accurate view of how your document is going to look when printed, you'll still need to go to print preview. So the next viewing option is full screen reading. So full screen reading shows your document in kind of a book style, and you'll notice that the ribbon and other screen elements are hidden. And you can use these arrows to navigate back and forth between different screens and different pages. And if you come up to viewing options, you'll also notice that you can increase your text size, decrease your text size. You can show one page, you can show two pages, you can show a printed page, you can allow typing, you can track changes, you can show your comments, and you can show your original final document. So you have a lot of options with this viewing style. And if you want to get out of it, you can just click close. So the next viewing option you'll see is web layout. And basically this just shows your document as it would appear in a web browser. So this is really good for creating web pages and emails. The next option is outline. So outline view shows your document as collapsible levels of headings. Uh, so you can see the structure of your document. So you see if you have headings, um, they appear different than the regular text in your document with this view. Next we have draft view. And draft view will just show the main text of your document. So in this view you won't see things like footers, headers, graphics, or multiple columns. Alright, the next thing we want to cover is the show area of your view tab. And here you'll see the first option you have is roller. And this will just allow you to display a ruler. Um, which has marks for your margins and things like tabs. So when you're in print layout, you'll see that you have a margin um, at the top of your document and also on the left-hand side of your document. Um, but when you're in web layout or in draft, uh, the ruler is only at the top of your document. Another option you have in this section is grid lines. And what grid lines do is they'll basically put a grid um, on your document within your margins and these grid lines are non-printing, but they can be very helpful with things like lining up graphics. Um, next we have the navigation pan. So if you click navigation pan, you'll see it pop up. So this tab right here would give you the option of navigating through outline form. Um, this will give you a thumbnail of your document. And this area gives you a search option. And you could also search your document up here. Okay, so now let's talk about the zoom section. And zoom basically just controls the size of how your document looks in your document window. So a high zoom number makes things look larger, and a smaller zoom number will make them look smaller. But the thing to keep in mind is that your document's going to print the same no matter what. So one of the easiest ways to zoom in your document is to come down to this toolbar and use the zoom slider. So you can just zoom it in and out, whatever size fits your needs. You can also use zoom under your view tab as well. So you can click the zoom button, and here you can pick your exact percentage of zoom, or you could jump to 200 or 75, which are some common zoom numbers. You can choose to zoom to your page width, or your text width, or you can choose your whole page. So you can just select one of these options and click OK. And something to keep in mind is anytime that you want to go back to normal zoom, you can do this easily by coming up to view and clicking 100%, and that'll just bring your document back to normal view. Under Zoom, you also have the option of uh, one page zoom. You can zoom to two pages, or you can also choose page width. And again, you can go right back to that 100 whenever you're done. Okay, so the next thing I want to talk about is Windows. Um, and Word allows you to have multiple documents open at the same time, but by default, only one window will appear at once. But you can change this manually uh, by moving things around and resizing things so you can see multiple documents at once, or you can also use some other window shortcuts. So the first one would be the new window tool. And what this tool does, it'll open a second window which will contain a copy of your document so you can scroll to a different part in your document and view multiple locations of your document at the same time. 
and the copies are joined, so any change that you make in one version will be reflected in both copies. So we'll just click this, and you see it's just another copy of your document. So you can scroll to different parts. And the next window tool is Arrange All. And if you click this button, it will arrange all open Word documents so that each will take up an equal amount of space on your screen. So you see that both windows have an equal amount of space. Your next option is Split. And Split creates a line in your document so that there's a separate scrolling bar for the two parts of your document. So you'll just click Split, and you'll place your split wherever you want it in your document. And you see you have two separate scrolling options. And if you'd like to remove the split, all you need to do is come back up here and click Remove Split. And it has your document whole again. The next thing is View Side by Side. We already covered this in our last lesson, but I'll just do a quick refresher. So you just click sat View Side by Side, and it will pull up um, your two documents that you have open. Or if you have multiple documents open, you can select which documents you want to view side by side. And then if we come over here, you have the option of um, synchronizing your scrolling. So if you click this button, it will synchronize scrolling in your document. And unselecting it will unsynchronize your scrolling. Um, and then this button is to reset your window position. So if we resized our window um, so they were no longer equal, if you press this button, it will reset your window position so they're equal again. And lastly, I just want to show you this switch window tool. And this is really handy if you have a lot of documents open and you want to switch easily between them. So if you just select the document you want to switch to, it'll pull that document up and you can view that window. Thank you for joining Nextstar TV for Microsoft Word 2010 User Guide Lesson 33 View. This is the final video in our Microsoft Word 2010 User Guide series, but if you've enjoyed this video, be sure to visit www.nextstar.tv for our other tutorials or subscribe to our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com front slash nextstara.